That's the kidney. Generally speaking, the less that we can do to a patient, uh, aside from what they really need, the better off they are. And I truly feel that less is more. And in this scenario, um, the patient gets a kidney transplant, but is using their own physiology and their own biology to breathe and talk and interact the entire time. Are you awake, John? Your renal failure is cured, my friend. Let's go. Sure. Truly no sensation whatsoever. I remember throughout the procedure, you know, uh, I, I had been given a lot of sedation for my, uh, my own comfort, but, you know, I was still able to be, you know, somewhat aware of what they were doing, especially when they called out my name and, and told me about certain milestones they had reached. Like, oh, hey, you know, we, we actually connected it. Hey, we're sewing things up. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool experience to kind of know that that was happening in real time. The spinal is something that we use for other types of surgeries. So there's a precedent of using these uh, techniques as the sole anesthetic for other types of procedures. For John's case specifically, we place the spinal in the operating room with a little bit of sedation. Uh, and then that was the main anesthetic. It was incredibly simple and uneventful after that. This kidney's gonna make a lot of urine, John. So you're going to have to drink a lot of liquids, okay? Okay, can do. Every intervention we do has risks associated with it. So there's always a risk-benefit ratio. But if we can come up with alternatives that bypass some of those interventions, then the idea is that it'll lead to a better experience, a shorter experience. Definitely by Saturday, like I was up and walking around, um, you know, I was going to the bathroom, I was eating solid food, um, pretty much, you know, fairly back to normal. Um, I wasn't going to be running a marathon that day, but um, yeah, I, I definitely felt good enough to, you know, walk out of the hospital. I literally walked out of the hospital less than 24 hours after a kidney transplant. Just those words in and of themselves is amazing. I think what will happen now is that we open up this, um, this idea and this program, um, which we call the AWAKE program, uh, Accelerated Surgery Without General Anesthesia and Kidney Transplantation, for a particular subset of patients that A, want the operation, B, can't have general anesthesia or have a high risk profile for general anesthesia, uh, or C, um, it fit into a category where this could benefit them in some way. And it really just opens up a whole new door and puts another tool in our tool belt in the field of transplantation.